Hello and welcome to Add to Cart. My name is Brian. I'm here to help. I like to do reviews of things that I have personally lived with. This is not an unboxing. This is not a first impression. This is not a tutorial. This is just a quick video to let you know should that thing you're looking at go in your cart or should you pass it on? Well, what I've got for you today is an empty table. No, I'm just kidding. This is the Garmin Vivo Smart HR. Not the HR Plus that has the GPS. This doesn't have the GPS. I bought this on Amazon. I bought it as a refurbished model. And let me tell you, I have been impressed. Um, I am not what you call a fitness nut or anything. I'm not a gym monkey. I'm not uh, one who is constantly working out. But this has made me more active. The reason I got it though is because my son, I got him something similar. It was a Chinese off-brand. Uh, I got him for Christmas. And uh, I sent him a message one day and I noticed that he looked on his wrist. And he said that, I was like, how did you get that message? You didn't look at your phone. He goes, it's on my wrist. I was like, you're kidding. I didn't know they could do that. And these little Chinese buttons. So when I started looking and seeing, should I pay the extra money and get a, a more reputable brand or should I go with the one I got him? Well, I found this one and it was a refurbished model. And I thought I want to have that notification on my wrist. So when I'm at work or working on, you know, working with my tools or doing something, being active, and I can't hear the phone that's in my pocket, all of a sudden my wrist buzzes and I'm able to see. Any notification you get on your phone, whether it's a calendar reminder, which I need at work, whether it's an email, uh, whether it's a, just a text message, it's great to just get it on your wrist. Um, the other thing that I, that I have found that I've really enjoyed is it has the weather. The, your heart rate tells you how hot it is, how cold it is, the highs, the lows, if it's gonna rain, uh, the percentage, it's, it's, it's great. Instead of pulling out your phone, you can just look on your wrist. Uh, it also controls your music player, which was a big surprise to me. Uh, I didn't realize that I would use that very much and I have really enjoyed it. Uh, when my phone synced to a Bluetooth or we're in the car and I'm just driving along, I can just hit play or pause or skip or whatever just right from my wrist. It's a great thing, it's almost a safety feature. So it tells you how far you've gone, and it's uh, once you calibrate it to, once you tell it how many steps you take within a set distance, it is great. It's very dead on with the GPS that I took on a, like a two mile walk that I took. Um, it's great. Now, one of the things I can say, I just put it on my wrist and went. I didn't really look at the instructions. It was all seems very self-explanatory. Didn't need the instructions to sync to my watch or anything. It was great. But I noticed that after a few days of wearing it on my left wrist right here, that it started to bother me a little bit. Um, as, as you can see that, that is the heart monitor. And that's another reason I wanted it, because activity trackers, if you don't have the heart monitoring piece, aren't as good. So, but this little bump right here, that sticks out a little bit, and it was bothering my wrist, because I was used to wearing watches 15 years ago, um, when I started wearing watches, I'd wear them below my wrist bone. Well, when I started looking at that, I was like, ah, it kind of bothers me. So I'd flip it around underneath and wear it like this. That worked pretty well, but I would notice I started hitting it, the, the, the top on it. Although the glass is, is pretty tough. Um, I mean, I've hit a few things and there is no scratches, but I thought, Ugh, I don't want to scratch it even, even if I can't help it. So I moved it back to the other side, but then I read that you need to wear it above your wrist bone. And that is where I've been using it. Um, as you've seen, I've had it on both wrists. Either way, it works just fine. Uh, you can tell it inside the thing whether which, which one you're wearing it on normally. But uh, the band itself is like a regular watch band. Uh, this is metal right here, so it's very good. That's a silicone stretchy material. Uh, when you're out running or bicycling like I've been, you know, you're, you're, you kind of arms get fatter because the blood's moving around. So it's nice to have that stretch. So it's, it's great. I've been really enjoying it. Uh, it even has a community piece where it turns out that one of my old girlfriends who lives very far away has a Garmin, some kind of Garmin device and we've been competing with each other. <laughs> see who can get the most steps. So it's a, it's a good thing. I've, I've really enjoyed it. So should you add this to cart? I would say yes. I would say yes, go for it. I think you will enjoy it. Again, it has made me more active. It has made me more health conscious. Um, but the main reason I like it the most is that I can get notifications on my wrist. It's a great device. I think you should add it to your cart. I think that you will enjoy it. So thanks for watching. Appreciate your support. 
Go ahead and give me a like, give me a share if you like this one. Even hit that subscribe button on whichever side of the video you're looking at. Thanks, and have a great day.